Hello, welcome back to my complete Blu-ray collection overview series for 2015. This is cycle 7 and it is comedy steelbooks. I'm going to do it in reverse alphabetical order this time so I can get them back on the shelf quicker and continue filming these videos and the breakneck pace I've been doing so far. So first off we have a great steelbook for Zombieland. Uh, on the back we have some of the rules. Uh, rule 1 cardio, beware bathroom, seat belts, double tap. Uh, which is pretty cool. Got this really cheap actually. Lovely steel book. Um, seems it's not in any uh, protective sleeve. I'll show, show the inside as well. Uh, really, really great film. The opening is fantastic with whom the bell tolls playing and the super slow mo. Um, got Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, Emma Stone, Abigail Breslin. Great cast. Great zombie film. Really funny. Um, great effects. You know, yeah, just really love the story about it and everything. Um, Big fan of Zombieland. Uh, now we have one of my favorite films of 2013, and is in my top 50 favorite films of all time, The World's End, a film by Edgar Wright. We got, of course, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost starring in this one, along with uh, you know Paddy Considine, um, uh, Eddie Marsan, and uh, Martin Freeman as well. And I just love it. It's a big pub crawl movie, but it is a film that is very much about nostalgia. Um, I've got the artwork from one of the posters there, which is really cool. But I love the theme of nostalgia, and the way it plays out in this film is just fantastic. It's very funny, very well written, uh, very well shot and directed. You know, it's an Edgar Wright film, it's amazing, but I love the... I love the stuff on the underneath of the film, if you know what I mean. I love the, the sentiment to it, and the, the meaning behind, really, Simon Pegg's character of Gary King and someone who holds on to the past too much. Um, next we have another Simon Pegg, Nick Frost film. It's Paul. Uh, love the back artwork on this. This is the German steelbook, which is identical to the UK steelbook. Um, and yeah, uh, it's a nice steelbook, and I love the film. I love, love, love the film. It's not as good as the Edgar Wright Peg Frost films, but you know, Seth Rogen is great as Paul. I just, it's just a really fun film with lots of great references. It's, I love road trip movies, and this is just a, a a really great road trip film that uh, I enjoy a lot. Um, next up, absolute classic, one of my favorite films ever, Ghostbusters, and you can't argue with that front, uh, that front artwork. It's just fantastic. The lo that's all you need is the logo, you know, the three main cast, and the, the title of the film, Black, perfect. Then you got a nice red spine, and then you got the Stay Puft Marshmallow on the back. Um, yeah, the blue is great. I know there's been a new remastered version. I haven't got that yet, but this is still one of my favorite still books, just for the simplicity and stuff, and uh, yeah, some good stuff on there. Now we have one of the uh, the Universal 100th Anniversary quarter steel, what would they call them really, the, the landscape, horizontal steels, the Frighteners. Peter Jackson's The Frighteners starring Michael J. Fox, really cool front cover there, and on the back you got uh, the house. Uh, I'll open this up while we're here. Got Michael J. Fox there, the star of the film. And uh, yeah, I really, I really like this film. It's, it's pretty good, you know. Um, not much more to say about it really, but uh, one of Michael J. Fox's last big starring roles, and uh, a real fun look into what Peter Jackson used to do before Lord of the Rings. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy it a lot. I love the setting as well. Uh, and then we have Sam Raimi's The Evil Dead, which is not a comedy. I don't know why this is in uh, <laughs> in with these. Let me have a look if I mess this up somehow. Not really. Um, I guess that this isn't really a horror um, section to this. So where is my steelbook for the thing? Where does that fall in? Is it in here? That's so weird. Where's my thing steelbook? I'm going to keep this in the, in the video. Let's have a look there. The thing. It just isn't here. Which is really worrying because it is one of my favorite films. How is it? Is, is this real life? Okay, so changing this video on the fly, this is comedy steelbooks and horror steelbooks. So let's just finish out the uh, <laughs> the comedy steelbooks first. And we have the Blues Brothers, which at one point was my favorite film of all time. Had a bad experience with it, and so it, it, went, it went way down the list. But uh, this is a German steelbook, uh, printed back. Um, I believe this is the, uh, the extended version of the film, which is just over two and a half hours. No, just over two hours long. Um, such a great comedy, musical, 
action film. It's just, it's just epic. It's so epic, of course, based on the Saturday Night Live characters created by uh, John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd, Jake and Elwood Blues, getting the band back together. It's just, it's such a fantastic film. The music is great. The comedy is amazing. It's one of the best comedies ever. And yeah, you just got to see it if you haven't seen it. It's um, ten out of ten for me. And then finally, um, another horizontal steelbook, an American Werewolf in London, which is kind of a horror comedy. Um, say Beware the Moon, yeah, it's a great, great uh, front artwork and then a cool back artwork of the werewolf. Um, this is a uh, is it, is it John Landis, isn't it? The same guy who did um, the Blues Brothers, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, John Landis. So yeah, we've got two John Landis films back to back, but this is a, a really, really great one. Uh, the special effects for the werewolf are fantastic, and it's good. It's a real offbeat kind of humor, but really, really cool. So now we'll go on to the um, the horror steel books, of which there aren't many. Uh, this is the horizontal, another horizontal steel book, and the title is D Boss, which is really cool. John Carpenter's The Thing, one of my favorite, probably my favorite horror film ever. Um, yeah, just great front artwork, and then the back is the classic. Um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Drew Struzan poster art where he did this in one night oh, it's just incredible great blu-ray has like the uh is it terror take shape or something like that the the feature length making of documentary the the kurt russell uh john carpenter audio commentary which is fantastic and this film is just oh it's just amazing um yeah bonus features are great the film's great you know love kurt russell and he's brilliant in it and just the whole foreboding sense of that film is just fantastic. And finally, we'll round it off with Sam Raimi's The Evil Dead. Great steel book. Some creepy artwork on the back there. Not really a huge fan of this film. I love Evil Dead 2, but this is just kind of here because it is a bit of a classic. Um, but, you know, on any given day, I'd rather watch Evil Dead 2. But still, pretty cool steel book for a pretty cool film. <coughs> and that is it for comedy and horror steelbooks cycle seven and then we'll move on to cycle eight which will be sci-fi and uh action thriller um let's see yeah so well what would we call it really we'll we'll go yeah we'll just sci-fi yeah next one will be sci-fi steelbooks so i'll see you then